YouTube. So here is the next big ass project, um, physically and literally. Uh, this is this is a massive project, as you guys can see. Uh, this thing's a uh, huge. It took a lot to just get it in here. Um, it's a 2019 Ram 1500, um, and it's put on a six inch lift. As you guys could see with 37 inch tires and somehow I got it in my garage that has an entrance of 80 inches. So uh, as you can see, deflated tires, there's patio bricks in the back and inside the car. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, this is, and we had, uh, you know, two people sit on it just to get it, uh, even lower to fit. So, uh, somehow we got in here and now, uh, yeah, I pretty much, uh, kept it outside while I was disassembling it. As you guys can see, it's completely torn apart and it's, uh, as you guys know, with white cars, this is what needs to be done, uh, depending on the car. Uh, how much you have to remove is, is, you know, up to you. But this is what I do because it's going white to matte black. And that is the biggest possible change you could do. So, you know, black to white is extremely easy. Black to any color is easy. But white or any bright car, this is the hardest thing, you know, hardest thing in a wrap world. Especially a truck like this, you know, with the whole lower section and... Uh, he had, you know, the steps, so I took those off too. And this one's a little different. The whole front end, including the grill that you can't see, and this little eyebrow that comes up top, is all painted the same color. I don't know if that's factory or or not, but it's good actually that it's not chrome and or like hard uh, metal. Uh, just like you know, the base. Coat. It's good that it's painted because Rap loves to stick to paint. I'm probably gonna have to loosen up the fenders here, uh, just with a couple bolts to get access fully under the quarter panel. Uh, mirrors, trims all came off as you guys can see. Like I said, the side steps, uh, interior is already, um, you know, take taken apart. I uh, dropped the headliner already. Antennas pretty off. Pretty much. Um, gas caps off. All these screws under here have to come off because I'm not going to be wrapping around the screws. I'd rather cut the hole out. Um, these bed caps I was looking at, you know, these, they're just caps. They're also just clipped in. I was looking up on them, but because this, uh, this rail for this Tanu cover is on there, I don't think I'm going to take it off. I'm just going to clean it really well and get full coverage that way. Tail lights came off. Uh, this door handle came off. The rear end on the regular 1500 is different, so it's just that middle badge with tape and clips, and then these two badges one here, one there. That's it. Um, very simple, as you guys can see right there. If I zoom in, that tail light's off, the roof railing caps are also off. Uh, so yeah, and I, uh, so today's day two, technically, uh, yesterday was day one, Monday, and I had to, um, I dropped it off in my detailer because it was, it was honestly tragic. Uh, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like he came back from mudding or something in the truck, but it was pretty damn dirty. And I just have my detailer. We have a setup where he just preps cars for a uh, wrap for me. So he'll go decontaminate it and give it a soft clay bar. So um, it doesn't scratch the paint. And uh, gets all those little things that you don't see with your eyes, but you could kind of feel, especially on the lower part of these trucks. Everything gets beat up, stuck to, you know, all that stuff. Like I said, with white trucks, back here is going to be is gonna be interesting. I can't, you know, I'm a one man army. I'm not gonna be taking this truck bed off, but you know, he's okay with that. And um, I'm thinking about once I'm done, I'm gonna tape everything off and uh, I might just spray this piece, matte black, plasti dip, because it's gonna be a perfect match. And, you know, I don't have to mess with working around that 
just so this is not white because you could literally see it's so easy to see this you know deeper deeper if you look of course you're gonna see white you know but for what he's paying for it's gonna be a complete transformation perfect color change six inch lift like i said 37 inch tires it's crazy it barely got in here you know it's extremely tall the trx is i have to just deflate the tires on that's it and it fit so but this one this one is you know an extra three inches i'd say higher than a trx plus he did a lift or no three inches higher with the six inch lift than a trx so uh it was a struggle but we did it uh but anyway yeah like i said matte black is the color choice he went with we're also doing chrome gold stripes racing stripes down the middle so on the bumper i think we're gonna skip the grill because it would be too much hood roof and tailgate bump and bumper down the back so um he's also adding uh goku decal which is gonna go right here it's a big decal it's pretty much gonna cover this this area uh and yeah he chose uh to match it in the chrome gold so we got the designer on that got it ordered already and that's gonna be a final touch so uh stay tuned for the time lapse this one's gonna be nuts